All right, so here is the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became a Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and apply it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena, and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Macy, the future, Barbara! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the Octagon fight. for this one. Ready. Good. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day, and thank you for spending a part of it with us. This is a big deal in places like Ireland, where I'm from, Boston, Massachusetts. The St. Patty's Day Parade, we saw Tom McGregor in 2018. It's a fun night for sure. It's a fun night and no better way to start it than with some fights in the UFC office. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? All right, so just as her corner said in our fighter meeting, she was going to close the distance and try to get the clinch early. Mission accomplished. Now we'll see how her opponent can respond. I wonder how hard she's going to go to try to get this to the ground now because we know how comfortable she is in the clinch. Let's see. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, look how tight that arm triangle is. Oh, yeah, she's got it deep. Well, Rousey's in half guard now. Big ground and pound. Oh, 
Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. That was a slick transition. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Great job getting to a position right into that single collar. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches there. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. Oh, she is doubled now. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. She's got a quick jab. There it is. Now the two separate from the clinch. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. All right, so it looks as though, yes, she's starting to deal with some swelling now. Whoa! Oh, beautiful hip toss there as she takes her opponent for a ride. She took her on her own personal flight. Huh. Over the top with that beautiful hip toss. Fantastic technique. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh, great reversal to top position by Rousey. Oh, she gets inside and gets the single collar top. Oh, keeps up higher there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice knee. There's a takedown attempt. One of the most important strikes from the clinch is this big body shot. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Nice job defensively. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar top. Nice straight right hand. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she hits. All right, full guard here through the bottom fighter, trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. While Rousey's in half guard. She's going for her arm here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. And now she has her back. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Rousey. Oh, big elbow. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Rousey. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Remarkably, after that sequence there on the ground, DC, talk us through it. We thought the fight was over. We thought it was done. It looked so tight. It looked like she was beat, but she was able to relax, really take a breath, find a way out of such a very dangerous situation. She should be very proud, but do not find herself back Ready. in that again. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is underway. She certainly favored submission over position in the previous round. Multiple submission attempts, but none really all that close to finish. Every time all the way into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play because this fight is about done. It's a right hand. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stopped. 
on, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, oh, outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick, but there's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. Oh, for attack, yup. Oh, she's got the submission locked in. Like the arm might end the fight, instead she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in the submission defense. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike in It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively, and tonight she's showing that the work has been done. Oh, nice jab up top. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. Huge left hand. Under three minutes now to go on the round. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, well, keep it up. So she holds on to her heel, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Well, Rousey's swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Nice yeah, up. Oh, she's hurt, she's hurt bad. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, my goodness. 90 seconds to go. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, she landed again. That is a high fight IQ to continue to attack that cut. That's bleeding everywhere now. Everywhere. Oh, another one! She blocked that punch. Now some separation between the two athletes. Under a minute to go now in round two. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. No idea how these two women are standing. They're both landing massive shots. Oh, body shot. 20 seconds to go round two. Well, Rousey's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Coming up next. All right, so with some urgency, the cut man making his way into the octagon as she heads back to the stool. That is a nasty cut that she is dealing with. Well, she absorbed way too many damaging strikes in that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the replay that caused the cut. Yeah, she was on the receiving end of a beating, man. It did not look competitive. And when you get hit with shots like this, big shots, shots that matter, 
you start to show damage. That cut opened up, and she is really struggling with it now. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, get the bonus checks ready as our next round gets underway. This crowd is going sick and hard to blame them after what they saw in the previous They round. are going crazy. These two young ladies are putting on a show. Rousey's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Fight yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. And mixes in the sense of one out. Oh, she's got her back. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nasty cut on her nose, she's bleeding. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Ooh, she's got the arm locked in tight. She's got it set up. She's in position now. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the rapper, they love the good champion. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Well, she has had her striking going from the outset, and she continues to invoke damage there upstairs. She said that her opponent was tough. She said that she knew it, but she also said that she thought she relied too much on that toughness, and she is exploiting that. Big shot to the body. Absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. Huge connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast if you take the foul. The night's over. Big right hand. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the oh, no. All right, the referee has paused the action here, likely to call in the doctor, yes, to look at this significant swelling on her. I'm not sure she's going to be allowed to continue. John, she's gotten beaten up, and I mean, it's getting worse every time she gets hit. There is a lot of swelling. Doctor pulls the referee aside. It looks as though the fight at least is going to continue for now. It's going to continue for right now, but she has got to get going. She will not have much time in this fight because it's only going to get worse. Ready. Ready. All right, well, she's about as tough as it gets. She wants Work. to stay in this fight, and she will be afforded that opportunity as the referee gets the action back on the way. You can see it in her eyes. She was not defeated. She was not deflated. She wanted to be out there. She wants to be out there. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her. Oh, still standing. She's still standing. She's got to get on the bike. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent's finishing. Oh! Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you got to go for blood. I know it's against her. It's not her. She's in a world of trouble now. Oh, she has the big strikes landing now. Unbelievable. 
So how about it, folks? A huge result for her as she gets...